We may have the best shot of the HAC Peachtree Road Race from where we are sitting here at the finish line, but our digital field producer, Joe Flaccari, has the best shot from up top, high up top. Yes, here's what it looked like from his bird's eye view as 60,000 people raced down below. So I'm with 11 Alive helicopter pilot Rich Moresco, and this is what it's like to take in the Peachtree Road Race at 2,000 feet. You know, for some, the HAC Peachtree Road Race is, is fun, but for others, it is serious, very serious competition. But then there are people like Ed Ridgely, who treats this race as one leg, one leg in a series of global challenges. Cheryl Preheim shares his story. Inspiration comes in many forms. I hear a lot of wows. And in many places. We just got back from Pikes Peak going to Everspace Camp, and then in uh, November going to uh, the New York City Marathon. Ed Ridgely's outdoor odyssey began with some reflection. Literally, he looked in the mirror. Had gained some weight, so I figured I needed to make a change. Change led him to Colorado and Pikes Peak. He summited Pikes Peak, uh, 14,000 feet. From straight uphill, and uh, yeah, it was, it was a really tough climb. It's part of what he calls... It's the summer of Ed, right? <laughs> from Pikes Peak to the AJC Peachtree Road Race, followed by a trip to Mount Everest, then the New York City Marathon, all before Christmas. And I tell him I'm amazed at myself. You know, I, it's just something that I never thought I could do. Ridgely is not a professional climber or highly decorated athlete. In fact, he's more like the rest of us. I watched a lot of YouTube videos on it, and uh, so I'm preparing physically, of course, and then mentally. There will be some training involved, weights and sprints. Everest is his bucket list item, but there's more at stake than self-fulfillment. Ronald McDonald House Charities, and so I keep this little band on me. So I look down at that when I'm kind of tired or fatigued, and just remember the kids that can't do it, they would love to be able to do it, and, uh, and that keeps me going. It keeps him going from the mountains of Colorado to his next challenge. I just have seen before how much people gather around that event and how exciting that is. I just wanted to be a part of it. Yeah, it was good. I had on my uh, bracelet for the uh, Ron McDonald House Charities. So yeah, that kept me going. Prepared me for uh, Mount Everest uh, Base Camp Trek in September. And then uh, finally, New York City Marathon in uh, November. Yeah, summer of it. What a day, what an event. 60,000 runners, 200,000 people watching, 4,500 volunteers, and that doesn't include all the law enforcement keeping all of us safe. A lot of patriotic costumes, a lot of heart, a lot of energy, and a lot of sweat. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Have a great 4th of July.